You gotta find the things that you love to do and do it as best you can. You gotta find that passion and I think that's really important with hockey. Yeah. Our team hasn't really moved up to the next division for three years. There was uh, some pressure, obviously, to everybody. We always had a good team, but here with there, we might have had a bad bounce or an unlucky game. But last year, we really uh, bonded as a team and played to the best of uh, our ability, and the results were quite clear as uh, we won the final. <laughs> From last year, what I saw was, you know, everyone uh, really contributed uh, well uh, with each other, and you know, we're all really supportive of each other. In a game, like they're willing to, you know, sacrifice for you or for anyone else on the team, and I think that's, you know, very special, and that's a bond and a brotherhood that we have. All the people are very united. In the training room, and in the ice, they are very united. One person is very tired, and the other four people will come and help them to get them back to the ice. We'll just try to have a bond again, just like last year. A lot of the guys are returning players and they'll help the new guys this year to be motivated and to really believe in ourselves that we can accomplish good things from the tournament. The big challenge for us this year is to stay disciplined and uh, to keep our emotions in check. Obviously, the first goal is to stay in the division and that's the most important thing. And if we play well, and I think we can, and we'll hope to push a medal. I mean, to win this division again, it'll be a miracle just uh, getting promoted two years in a row. It would be something really special. And I think we're also capable of doing that, but it takes a lot of hard work. I think we got a good team here and we got to believe in each other and trust our coach, what, what he has to say and what are his uh, game plans are. We have uh, a lot of players they played the last season, so I know a little bit uh, their habits. And uh, I think with the speed and uh, with the good technique, uh, we can uh, win also some games. Obviously this year we've moved up a division and the opponents are much tougher. I think uh, Korea will be our biggest challenge when it comes to uh, competing for first place. Every game starts by 0-0 and, and at the end win the game. So the moment counts. We live day by day, minute for minute, shift for shift in the games. I, I like to, to get them a small picture. You know, every, every time when you're uh, playing for your country, you gotta give it all you got. It's really special. Uh, it's always an honor to play for your country. With the 2022 uh, Olympics coming up, it'll be obviously a dream come true to, to represent your country at the world stage. And a tournament like that is what, what you've been dreaming of, you know, uh, since you were a little kid uh, playing in the Olympics. And I'm no different. It's still a long time away, and uh, I, I won't look too far ahead, but um, I'll just focus on now and just getting better every day and one step at a time and one ice session at a time. In those two years, I could still improve a lot on my uh, skills and my aspect of the game and come 2022 I think I'll be ready. I think I'm still I'm still pretty young right now and life you know what they say is uh, you know pretty short but uh, uh, you know you, you gotta you gotta find the things that you love to do and um, you know do it as best you can and finding that joy really and that passion that you have for what it is it, whatever it's sports or at work you know you got to find that passion and I think that's really important with hockey and I really made the right move you know playing hockey and it, it really changed my life for sure and it shaped the person and the player that I am today and I, I'm just really thankful you know for for the game of hockey and uh, what, what it has done for me and yeah <laughs>